it's Teresa. I am back with another haul for you, but today I have the Target Dollar Spot because if you have one that has good dollar spot in it, it's amazing right now for Christmas stuff and I know there's things that I couldn't even find. So I'm gonna jump in and show you what I found because I'm really excited and I need to get it put away or at least as much as it's gonna get put away and I need to start crafting with it because it's great. Uh, so this. I have a video, I will link it for you below. It, they had one like this last year. It is $3, not that you could see the tag. Take my word for it, three bucks. It's a lot nicer than like one that you find at Dollar Tree because it is, it, it's MDF, I'll be honest, it's MDF, but it does it say, sometimes they tell you on the back, I don't know. Anyways, it's like a sled, you can use it as a sign, you can use it as like a little decor piece, little shelf sitter, so cute, so cute. Um, but they had it last year where this was black. It was like a black chalkboard and I did a DIY with it recently before I had found them in the store and I was hoping, I was like, oh, please let them bring that beautiful, cute, adorable sled back. And they did. This time it's all in wood. So it's really cool. It's like, you can even stain this, even though it's an MDF, you could stain it and make it darker if you wanted to, or do it in a white and like distress it down. So you could see the wood, the, the wood grain, you know the faux wood grain in it. Anyways, I picked up like three of them because I think they're adorable and I will definitely be like stocking, not, not, I'll be stocking the, the store, not stocking the store. I don't know how to say it. Basically, I'm going to be watching the store for right after the holiday ends so I can check to see if I can get them on sale because sometimes their dollar spot stuff doesn't sell well or I don't know how this is going to potentially not sell, but you never know. Sometimes you pick them up after, right after the season ends. So I picked up like three of them, like I said, and, and there's a lot here. So, <laughs> um, I have, and I don't know why I decided to buy these because I still have some of the old ones that I'd gotten probably, ever, I don't know. I don't think it was Christmas last year, but it was la towards the beginning part of this year. I found a double sided, um, wood. Again, it's not really wood. It's, it's probably MDF, but I found a double sided round. <laughs> uh, one side is obviously chalkboard, one side is white, and it's like got a little bit of that wood grain look to it. I got two of those. Those were three dollars each as well. And I think, I'm trying to think if I, I think all I have is the dollar spot stuff in here. This was really cute. This is called a gifting sack. It is 15 by 17 and a half, and this was three dollars. I thought it was so cute. And you know what though? I'm not gonna make this a gift sack. I'm probably gonna stuff this and make it like a pillow because I thought it was really cute. So it's like just the North Pole Farms, reindeer feed. I thought it was so adorable. Now they have pillows there too that are $5. They have all kinds of different like uh, ski lodge and this and that. And I love those, but I, I was like, well, for three bucks I can make it my pill a pillow myself. I already have all the stuffing, you know. And I have to make some to go with it and everything like that. I'm gonna save those for last. Uh, so I got this for five dollars. It's two um, risers. I believe one is slightly smaller than the other. Let me see if it tells you the size. Um, no, it just says two count. Well, um, I'll tell you how they how big they are. They are approximately. The smaller one is like a nut, what is that like? Oh, wrong, reading the wrong side. Uh, the smaller one is almost nine inches. Oh, no, that's the bigger one. The bigger one is almost nine inches and the smaller one is closer to eight. And they're probably about two or so inches tall, like the, ris the rising part of it. Um, but I thought two for five bucks, that's pretty good. Maybe I will do a chalk tour thing on the front of them or do some IOD stamps. I've got tons and tons of IOD stuff lately because, maybe not tons, but you know what I mean. I've got a lot of IOD stuff lately because I cannot help myself. I keep seeing stuff and looking at it and I think it's adorable and it's pretty and perfect and I will link below the shop that I use for IOD. Um, she's sort of local to me. She's in St. Augustine, which is probably about an hour and a half, two hours away from, uh, Orlando. Uh, but she's super sweet and I will link all of that below. Hmm. 
interesting. I just saw something. Sorry. Uh, I saw this cute little house set. These are little wooden countdown blocks. They all have numbers on it. I was looking at this one, number five. It looks like the roof got torn off. It's a, it's a one story and it looks like it's at an angle. That's really weird. I'm going to have to open that up and see what the heck's up with that one. Hold on. I have to do it now. I can't wait. <laughs> um, so if, um, if you've been around for a long time, excuse me while I stare over here. Um, if you've been around for a long time and have been around since last Christmas, thank you because those videos were probably pretty hard to watch <laughs> for one thing. Oh yeah. See, it's like at a slant. You guys all have to let me know if you got this little set, did your number five house look like this? I'm going to have to look online now. Now I'm curious. I'll have to look online. Not right now, but you know what I mean. Anyways, um, if you've been around for a while since last Christmas, you know I am obsessed with like little houses and villages and stuff for Christmas. Uh, growing up, we never had Christmas trees. Christmas. Whoa! We never had Christmas presents under the tree. We always had this huge village. My mom has always done a Christmas village underneath the tree. And so I just love like Christmas villages and houses and all that. So I love that. See another, another one. Um, I'll put that away. I don't need to show it to you more than once. Right. Um, so yeah, so I love little houses and stuff. You'll see a lot of them in the next couple of weeks, month or so, uh, because I love them. I've got these. It's just like a little decorative thing to put up on the wall because it has a little hanger or lean it up against something. It was $3 probably a little more than I probably should have paid for it, but I didn't care. I just went with it. I figured like maybe I can snap this little part off. Obviously it's like a barn door. I did get two of these because I figure if I make something like a matching, if I can get to it, I figured if I did something like side by side or did something in the middle of it, or I don't know. So I got two of them just because I wanted to have that option. And you know, if you don't get it when you see it at that uh, little dollar spot you may never see it again so those are more of like the wood things I'm just trying to see if I had any other ones I don't think so and so now we're gonna get into more of like the decorative stuff not that they're not all decorative I suppose but uh, anyways so I got this cute little guy I'm thinking I might have to do a whole video of Buffalo ch check a Buffalo plaid um, I used to not really care for it. I'll be honest. Uh, last year I was like, eh, it's all right. Now I'm kind of gotten to the point where I really love it. So I love the black and the white and the red and the black. So he's super cute. He was three bucks. He's got a little green scarf and he's got a cute little face and antlers. And I like deer too. I have a, oh, he is definitely not going to stand up. Well, we'll have to fix that. I was just looking, I was just going to put him up on the desk. There's no way in the world he's going to stand. I'll figure that out. Um, I have, um, every Christmas I do, well, not every Christmas, we're at about three full-size trees in my house. <laughs> so one of those trees is kind of like a, a very like muted greens and ivories and stuff. And I love it. And I love the like woodland kind of thing. So he's going to go perfect in that. And, uh, well, We'll see. I've got, I've got to like set everything up and figure out where I'm, what everything's going to happen. Uh, they had these really cute little tins. This one just says mistletoe kisses and holiday wishes. I just thought it was super pretty. It's a buck, but it's uh you know, you could put little candies in there. You put a little gift card in there and it's just a cute little decorative box. Who knows if it's going to be part of a gift or <laughs> if I'm going to keep it. I don't know. We'll see. That's the thing with Christmas stuff is often I usually would be like, oh yeah, that's really cute for a gift idea, but I'll probably just keep that. Uh, so this, I couldn't get over it. I tell you, I like the woodland stuff. This was a dollar and it says reindeer feed and magical ingredients. It's just stuffed. It's so cute though. It's so little and cute. It gives me ideas. Um, if you just saw my it's not up yet. Just kidding. There's a video coming up where I use little bags like this. Um, if it, uh, yeah, anyways, it is going to be really cute. I can't wait to show it to you, but I have more bags left over. So this gives me an idea of something to do. I don't know why I picked this one up, but I did. I just, I went crazy. I saw the stuff there because I went in there really hoping they'd have like it stocked up for Christmas because I'd gone in a couple of times before 
because uh, I was passing by hoping they'd have the Christmas stuff and they had it this time so I was so excited if you couldn't figure that out um, but they just have this really simple little snowflake I don't know why I needed it but I needed it so I got it it's a dollar uh, I got another one this is really cute little wood snowflake this one I don't know we'll see how we'll see if it's gonna work out I might chalk on it if I have like a really pretty pattern I have a couple of like Christmassy patterns I'm gonna do like my chalk couture on it and maybe make it into like a beaded garland it's like kind of already started in that direction you know what I mean this was a dollar and that is it it might be MDF it might be wood I'm not sure another really cute tin this one hot cocoa it's just so pretty and they open really nice you know it's not like the ones that have the lids that come off that the kids are gonna lose somewhere you know oh, crafting supplies just kind of stay on my desk all day let's see okay there's a few little sets of stuff that I think is really cute too so we've got ho 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 it's I don't know if this is supposed to be a gift tag or if it's supposed to be a house it's got some like um, almost like a canvas texture on the front and a wood grain on the back. So I'm really not sure. Let me see if it tells me if it's supposed to be a gift tag or it just says gift topper. That's what I think all of these little things are is some of them say ornament. Some of them say it's a gift topper. So that's really cute. It was a dollar. And here's another one of these tents. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. I thought that was really cute. Same concept. It opens up. So the uh, hot cocoa one is a little differently shaped. Differently shaped? I don't know sometimes. Um, but this one's obviously more square. This one's more rectangular. So these ones would be really nice for gift cards. But it's just really pretty. I loved it. So I bought it. They kind of stack. Do they stack? They kind of stack. So let's see what else. Um, better not pout. This one I think is definitely looks more like a gift tag. So that was really cute. And it says gift topper on this one. So maybe that's what that one is. This, it looks more like a house in shape, but I think it's supposed to be a gift tag. And these are really cool. You could easily put like with your Cricut or write it, handwrite it or something like that with just a name of who it's for. Under the tree it would be so cute. It's a little, it would be a little pricey if you did it for everybody, but maybe have a special someone. All right, so this is the last thing. And I grabbed, I think, one of every kind that I could find because they're so, so cute. Um, these are called Decor Prop Packs. And this one is a little pair of skis, a little reindeer crossing sign, a little like a ski slope thing. I don't know. I'm in Florida. I don't have snow. I don't have, I don't, we don't have places to ski here. There's actually, it's weird. There's an indoor place here. I don't know how that works. But there's an indoor place here. I've never been. <laughs> um, anyways, so that was so adorable. These are three dollars. I think all of the ones I'm about to show you are three bucks. And I mean, come on, how cute is that for a tear tray? You can you can't make them. You can't make it for that cheap. This one also three dollars. This one's kind of they're all kind of hanging out and falling off, not falling apart, but they're just kind of everywhere. You know what? I'm sorry for the rustling of the bags. I have to open them. That one's not so hard to see, but this one I'm gonna have to open. I'm sorry. I don't mean to. But this one has like something in the way. So this is another decor prop pack. This one has a little sign that says stay cozy, a snowflake, and a little sign to tell you the ski lodge. Now this one displays it like that first one displayed it on one of their just little tear trays. I might have that tear tray, <laughs> but this one shows it on like this little uh, triangular shaped one. I'll show you this one too, so you can, for the sake of seeing it, I suppose. So this one you see is on just a regular one. And I actually got a couple of their tear trays because I thought they were really cute and reasonably priced. So they're gonna, they're gonna go on something, I think. And here's another one that is the decor prop pack. I'm trying to say that three times fast. Um, and this one's really cute as well. It's got, you know, the little logs, the little sled, a little reindeer. I can't get over how cute it is. 
see how much this one was. So those are all $3. And this one is $3 as well. And this one is actually a DIY snow globe ornament. And this one, you can't see it, but up there, it's got the snow. It's got the little houses. I'm telling you guys, it's the houses. I love them. A little garland to put at the top. A little wood. I don't know. I just thought it was really cute. Probably a little more pricey than what I would normally want to spend on a DIY ornament. But... I had to grab it because it was cute and it was a little village and just adorable. That's it, I think. Unless you wanted to see the, which obviously you can't answer me. I was gonna say, unless you wanted to see the, uh, um, I don't even know, I can't even talk today. Unless you wanted to see all the other stacked up stuff that I have. Uh, sometimes I'll go online and they'll actually have some of these things where, especially like those prop, those decor prop packs, they'll probably have like one of each kind lumped up together where you have to buy them that way if you find it online but that's how I picked up I got like this little really cute cutting board and I may as well just show you I'll be right back all right so I didn't go grab the tear trays but I did grab this cutting board I already I've obviously DIY this I'll link this video for you below it turned out really cute um, this one I you can buy online you get two you have to buy two of them and they're five dollars each so not bad but they do sit up on a stand and then you've also got the round ones that sit up on a stand come you have to buy two in a pack but super super cute so I hope you enjoyed that haul and you'll have to let me know what you're looking for over at Target Dollar Spot if you like these kind of videos where I kind of show you hauls chat with you for a little while uh, I used to do more of this kind of stuff on a different channel. I mean, I had like 100 people over there. And I decided to move it back onto here because most of the time it's crafting stuff anyways. Uh, I still got the other channel just as I want to do like cooking things or home things. I don't know. Reviews, that kind of thing. But this will probably primarily be where I do hauls now. And if people want to watch it, great. If they don't, then they don't. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.